Hey, welcome guys. So let's solve in 960. Oh, sorry, nine, uh, 1961. <laughs> Find this pass is this graph. Okay, and hope you guys subscribe to the channel. So my channel do physics, mathematics, and coding, and uh, most of them are uh, my own interest. Uh, so hopefully, so hopefully I'm not uh, I'm not starving. Okay. <laughs> so there's a bidirectional graph with a resistance, and you start from zero and then minus one, and uh, there's edge. Right, so basically this is very simple, right? So the problem is that somebody gives you a start and end and you are asking about uh, whether there's a path that you can start from zero, one, uh, zero to two. Okay, so basically this is just ask whether it's, uh, these starting ends are in the same connected component. So there are actually two ways to solve it. Uh, I mean, the first way is that you just travel the graph, right? You start from the start and you travel the graph and the C and uh, uh, remember uh, which which node that you have visited, and uh, you ask whether your end is visited in two. Okay, so this is the first way, and uh, the second way is that you can use the uh, so-called unifying. Okay, so let me just uh, let me just write down. So the first idea is use the the graph traversal for DFS. The second is that uh, use the unifying. So first DFS just you you go through the stars right and you you keep 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 searching 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 okay and then finish and then you will remember which widget node that you have visited and then you and ask whether end belongs to this connected component okay so let's quickly see the code so you first uh, create a graph uh yeah hopefully this is obvious and then you create a set which is visited and you add start. Okay, and then you start to and you define a very simple DFS as visits uh, for every node in the source. If we not visit then you visit Okay, and then you keep going. And you visit the star and the visit. So this will uh, find a connected component which start. And the final you return whether end in a visit. Okay, so this is a simple uh, DFS solution. So let's submit. Uh, yeah, this is the answer. Uh, yeah, another way is using the union find. Let me check whether uh, I have used union find to solve it. Oh, well, I have not. Yeah, so basically another way is using union find. So basically you can connect the zero and one into a one mm -hmm. cluster and the one to two into another connected component. And then you ask whether zero and two have the same parents. Okay, so, but this problem is simple, just using the DFS. And uh, yeah, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Bye.